Hi guys, well I'm going to catch you up on a recent match. It's a Census Challenge final, an event that I really, really enjoy. Um, I've been lucky to have some success in that match before, and the uh, team actually won it uh, two years previous. We won it on the Saw, and then we won it on the Gloucester Canal last year. So we're really lucky that we'd had some good draws and fished well. To win it twice was great. So we were really, really hoping we could manage to win it for a third time, which would have been really, really important to us and really sort of help us believe that we're doing things right and working really hard. It's really nice sometimes when you get a run of results. It does sort of prove that you're putting in the time and getting the results. It's all worthwhile. We have a bit of a policy when we go for a practice. Go and have a practice on the Friday. Um, don't go for two days because obviously sometimes you can end up hammering a venue and uh, going down the wrong path because it fishes completely different in practice as it does in the match. So just go, get an idea, feeling for the depth and just try and get the best result that we can. And it seems to work really well. Although we never catch a great deal on the Friday. This year there's two Barnsley teams in the event and uh, we all practice together, we all intermingle and we share information to try and come up with a plan. We went on a bit called Castle. Uh, about permanent peg, 300s-ish, I think. I can't quite remember, to be honest. It, on the Gloucester Canal, if you know it, you know where it is. Uh, we walked right past this bay to the top end. And it was hard going. The end peg was good. Oliver caught some bream. And then the rest of us just caught an odd bonus fish and some small roach and what have you. And it was interesting. It was an interesting day. It taught me quite a bit about uh, the canal, that it wasn't going to be great, to be honest. I felt... Even though it seemed like a lot of other teams were bagged up in the hot spots, I wasn't convinced that it was going to be great because it wasn't great down at Castle. So it's just going to be a case of managing and seeing what we could do and trying to get the best out of our uh, weekend. Had a bit of a team plan. <coughs> um, we were going to be using Census Lake and some Leem, a very popular combination on the long line. And then we were going to go a bit more ground baity in close, a bit of canal black in there because... We felt it was important on the sh on the close line to give our peg a better chance um, for roach with a little bit more ground bait. <coughs> Excuse me, we've played around with that in the past. Um, it doesn't always work. You have to be cautious because you need to keep catching fish. Last year it was really heavily coloured. There wasn't really any small fish feeding. This year with less colour. There was some small fish feeding, so we felt they were going to play a really important part in our team plan. I had an interesting match. Uh, drew permanent peg 171, which I think is a bit called re. Um, it's still a bit of a cutback, to be honest. And when there's a 13 metre pole limit, I didn't fancy beating the two pegs on the point to my left. But I just felt if I could keep putting something in the net, I was going to do all right and just hopefully... If there was less bream show than had been showing, I might have a chance. I never fancied it for a bream there being so far back, but uh, I felt if I guess gave myself a chance of catching everything, then that would be my best chance of a good team result. Started off slow. I potted in my baits on both lines. I never balled anything. And uh, I didn't really catch anything for about an hour and three quarters. Just a few roach. Nothing really to write home about at all. Then all of a sudden, just started putting a few in the net. Had a little run of roach, odd little hand size skimmer, and I thought, this is all right. I am actually catching something. Bankside walkers were telling me like two to three pound was in the section, and I just didn't have that at all. I had a lot less. I sort of had a pound and a half to two pounds. So I was nervous that I was sort of well behind. Didn't want to get drawn into just fishing for a bream. I thought, just keep putting something in the net. And I managed to keep putting a fish in the net, short, long, alternating all the time and by the end of the match I thought well I've worked really hard there every fish is counted uh, let's just see where you finish up there was a six pound on this point to my left of small fish Mark Eustace caught all day paralyzer section good friend of mine John Freeborn was had five pound but he did have a two pound bream in there which he's fished for and that's what I always say fair play to anyone who catches one but he'd had five pound with this bream but nobody else had caught one. Nobody else had had a bream or anything like that. So it was then down to the bits. And I had 313, and that was the best of the rest. Third in my 11 peg section. I was really, really pleased with that. That's what team fishing's all about. You can't always win the section. And in individual matches, it may have been, well, I can't win anything today. 
But it's not like that. It was about getting the best result I could. And third in the section, I was absolutely chuffed with. When I got back to results, both teams had done brilliant. My team uh, had scored 16 points and the other team had scored 16 and a half. So we obviously had our tactics pretty much right because those two scores were third and fourth on the day. The French had scored 13 points and Daiwa Dorkin had scored 14 points. So it was all very close and all to fish for second day. On the second day, we had a bit of a disappointment, if I'm being honest. Um, I drew the middle of uh, the bottom end of A section, A30, and it was terrible. I caught a decent roach early and about 15 other small fish. And I was doing all right. I think if we'd have weighed in after an hour and a half, I was probably first or second in the section. And I thought, this is okay. It's going okay. Just keep putting fish in the net. Like what I'm talking about, like those days before, the wheels fell off. I caught one perch in the last two and a half hours. On my right, the chap just had two little roach all day. But on my left, the French angler kept catching all day, kept putting fish in the net. And to his left, it just got a bit better up at the top end. Um, they got caught towards the end. Down to my right, they caught towards the end as well. And I just sat there not catching anything. It was ever so disappointing. I've tried all sorts, different rigs, different feeding, started a new line, tried topping up with different baits. Nothing's worked. I just think sometimes you get those situations where fish just go. Maybe I've done something to do that. I don't know what it is that I've done. I wish I did, but for whatever reason, something's happened in my peg. Even though I was taking it very similar to the day before, really taking it steady as well, and it just went really disappointing. But I ended up seventh in the 13 section with 790 grams. And to be honest, I was lucky. The chap on my right had 100 grams. I had a big roach in there, 400 gram roach, which that's got me. That's got me my seven points. I mean, you know, that's how tough it was. So I was really disappointed, but. Sometimes you're going to get those pegs. Hopefully the team had done some good. And we had had some good results. We'd had three seconds. And then unfortunately James had uh, had a, a worse uh, situation than myself. He'd come eighth. He'd been in a bream section where there was loads of bream caught. And they just hadn't caught anywhere he and the next guy was. So he suffered the same fate as me. One bream there. And it could have changed everything. Uh, but... It didn't, and that is the way it goes sometimes in fishing. You can't always expect to win every time. Um, I know James has caught Breen that many times, especially on the Gloucester, that I know he's done everything. He just hasn't had that bit where the Breen were, and that was just bad luck. Uh, but those consistent results for the other guys proved to me that we were doing it right because we would got those three consistent results. Even more proof, because we would finished sixth overall, but our other team had finished with 13 points on the day and actually were crowned champions this year. So three years in a row for a Barnsley team. Not the team I'd been in after our two years, but this year another Barnsley team had won. We all practised together. In that team was Frankie, Sam, Glenn Lawrence, Gav Liversidge and Oliver Scott on. A great team. I always say any team can win when we're going together. We all share everything. We really do work hard as a team. And even though maybe I was questioning, did we have it bang right? All I know is we, one of our teams did win it and we were in sixth. Only six points off winning, by the way, which maybe with a bit of a rub in the bream section. And for whatever reason, if there's a few more fish for me, we've got those points. So I was really happy with that. I was absolutely delighted for the guys to, to win and delighted to see us on there again. It was very unlucky for Dorkin. They missed out by a point. But that was only by half a point from the French and another half a point, I believe, from Starlet. So it was really, really tight at the top, which to me proves it was the perfect venue for the event and an absolutely great match. I really do enjoy that census challenge. Um, there was 32 teams this year, which I believe is a new high. Um, so it's definitely growing. It's definitely interesting if your team wants to try something different and get down for the weekend, you should come and have a go. I think you'd really enjoy it. I know it's going to be there again on the Gloucester next year, so I think it's, uh, it's definitely something to add into your diaries. Um, but that's it for me. Now it is proper, proper gear preparation time. 
The reason I've done the blog from this angle today is my garage looks like a bomb's gone off because I'm off to Spain for the World Feeder Club Champs. This is a match I've been looking forward to for six months since we qualified. I'm absolutely pumping for it. I flew out to Spain last week and had a look at the venue. I've made a real effort. So's all the team. Can we bring home gold? It's the first ever World Feeder Club Champs. I'd be delighted if we could. There is another English team going. Preston Innovations, Telford. Hopefully they'll come second. And I really do hope that uh, one of us, for sure, if one of us could win gold, I would be delighted with that in all seriousness. So that's it for me. Head down, get my gear ready. No fishing this weekend. It's all got to be perfect. And then we're off to Spain. And when we get back from Spain, I'll catch you up on what is sure to be a fantastic match. Picture then.